Oh, yes! Check that out! Look at this. I just destroyed society. One of the most sick things I've ever seen in movies and video games is unlocking a door with a damn bobby pin. Like imagine someone is trapped somewhere and there's like no way out. Then you come out and you're like, yeah, I'm gonna bust this log open with, with a bobby pin. <laughs> Sounds kind of goofy saying that out loud, but I'm pretty sure it's actually possible. I haven't actually looked it up. I don't know if it's possible, but I've seen it in movies and video games, so it must be possible. But to get started, I did purchase a normal lock picking set with normal lock picking tool, so that actually is possible. Right, first of all, that's a lot of tools. I don't know what I'm getting myself into. I really don't. What on earth is this? It looks like a fake credit card. Why would you want that? <laughs> it's a fake credit card with lock picking tools inside. What? This is actually kind of genius. Right, so let's get started for real. I really want to know how to do this. Yo. I'm lost. So the concept behind picking a transparent lock is pretty simple. But uh, for the longest time, I wasn't able to get it open. Uh, I spent over an hour at this desk trying to get it open, and apparently it usually took a minute for someone on the first time. A minute did pass. Like 60 times, it didn't open. I, I was going crazy. Then I got hungry, and I watched tutorials over and over again, not understanding what I was doing wrong. Like I'm smiling right now, but trust me, I'm not having a good time right now. My camera ran out of battery, and I couldn't open the lock, which was transparent, mind you. I tried again at 2 a.m., I failed again, and felt stupid. I tried changing tools, it didn't work, like damn it's see-through, I still can't open it. I, I was so confused, I had no idea what was going on. I was like, damn, I'm never gonna finish this stupid ass video. Like, dude, this was a confusing time. I started to wonder if my lock was defective. I started to wonder if I was defective. That's what's messing with us! Baby Scott. What's the matter? Is he stupid? Oh, oh. <laughs> Yo, check this out. He fucking opened. Finally. I can't explain how many hours I spent doing this. Dude, I'm speechless. I just picked a lock. It's a transparent lock. It's not a real lock. But damn it, I will take it. I was convinced that this was a defected padlock this entire time. Turns out, I'm defected. I'm just stupid. Oh, yes! Dude, that is so sick. <laughs> oh, I love that. It is so satisfying. So, what was I doing wrong? Turns out it's pretty simple. I was just using the wrong tool the entire time. I was using this torque wrench, but it doesn't even fit that lock, so it would never work. After switching to this tool, it actually started to work. If you don't, if you don't make this dumb mistake like I did, you could probably get your first open in like five minutes, not not like three days like I did. After I fixed this mistake, opening the lock was so damn easy and actually pretty fun. like screaming in the background I don't know if you can hear that is that a machine or is that someone screaming for their life someone probably just died and I just put it in a YouTube video since the practice lock is getting a little bit too easy for me I think it's time to upgrade to an actual real lock most people re most people use a lock at this level to guard their bikes and their very expensive things I'm gonna learn how to steal from them and I'm not actually gonna steal. I'm not actually not. I'm not actually gonna steal from them. So as expected, switching from a see-through lock to a traditional lock was pretty damn difficult. It was a lot harder to have to guess where all the pins were rather than just being able to see them. But after six minutes, I seemed to stumble into my first real lock open. Oh yes! <laughs> Check that out. Look at this. I just destroyed society. Society uses these locks on 
everything. They guard their bikes, their possessions. I can literally destroy society from the inside right now if I wanted to. I can't believe I just opened the lock. I, I'm a fucking locksmith now. I am so proud of myself. I gotta do that again. This is so hard. I don't know how I did it the first time. But I honestly don't know what I did. Like, I'm not even like, just saying that. Like, I don't know what it is I did correctly. I'm like the worst pock, pock licker, lick. I'm the worst pickpocketer. What? I'm the worst lock picker <laughs> to ever learn this. I'm such a slow learner with this. I don't know why. I just am. Oh, oh yes, yes. My second open, guys. Oh, I love doing that. I freaking love doing that. I don't know how I just did that. Like, dude, when I actually put effort into it, I'm like trying to, trying to get the perfect pins aligned. I'm trying to like listen for clicks and shit. I can't get anything done. But I swear, when I just kind of put the torque wrench in, put some tension in, just shove this in here, and, and like just for a second, it just open, it just clicks open. <laughs> it's so easy. It's so easy. What? Oh, it never gets old, guys. It's so freaking awesome. Oh my god. I can't believe I can just do that now. I can just, I can just break open locks. Guys, I'm elated. I'm elated right now. Yeah, baby! So at this point, opening a lock with lock picks is embarrassingly easy. It takes like five seconds. So to up my game, I got me some uh, bobby pins. Of course I had to buy the pink case. It's a very masculine case, I might add. So my guess is in order to pick a lock with bobby pins, I'm gonna have to mold these into the shape of actual lock picking tools. So make my own torque wrench by bending the bobby pin and make my own lock pick. I'm really gonna be using that to pick a lock. That is insane. It has to be possible, right? Come on. I'm just biting a bobby pin in public. Ah, this is what I've come to. This is my torque wrench right now. I just kind of bent it a lot. <laughs> Yo, check that out, it actually works. It actually turns the lock. I'm just using this as a lock pick. It probably isn't the best way to do it, but I think the more shitty your tools are, the more badass it is. So the torque wrench does work. It's just that it, it blocks the pathway and it's really hard to get this in there the right way. I'm so close. Yo, check that out. Yo, that is so sick. I just opened a lock with a, a fucking bobby pin. I've done it, I've become the real James Bond. Um, you're looking at him right now. I can't believe I just did that. So I bent this up a little bit more. That's kind of my hook now. This might be easier that way. Let's go. Second open. So now it's time for a real challenge, to lockpick a door. So I tried on my backyard door first, but it turns out my parents were actually pretty smart and bought an expensive lock for it. So I failed miserably. Ah. I've been at this for an hour and I can't, I still haven't opened it. I don't know what to tell you, man. It's like that lock was sealed by Thanos himself or <laughs> I can't open it. So I decided to try a different lock. Maybe I'll have better luck. Maybe it'll uh, be suit more suitable for my skill level. For my first door open, I locked the door, but I left it open just in case I also failed this one. And well, after about five minutes, it went better than I expected. <gasps> yes! So I guess it's time to test my survival instincts. Let's, uh, let's lock myself in my garage without a key. I should be able to get out, right? <laughs> Wait, what? It's not even... Yeah, now I'm fucked. Opening a door lock was harder for me to do than a padlock. Door locks are usually a bit tighter, and I have to sit in this uncomfortable whack position. But I thought it would just be really cool to be able to do this, so I stuck with it. Yes! Yes! I feel very accomplished right now. <laughs> I actually lockpicked a real door. <sighs> so 
So now I'm trapped in this garage with nothing but just two bobby pins. It's not actually that dramatic. I do have my lock picking tools in case I fail, but let's just pretend I'm gonna die in here. There's no way out, and all I have is two bobby pins. I can't wait to see if I can open it or not. This is gonna be so cool. It doesn't even, f it doesn't even fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit. This <laughs> sucks. It sucks so bad. In order for my bobby pins to work, I had to switch the way I was using the torque wrench. I basically just put it in the opposite end that I was doing beforehand, and I went at it for 10 minutes until suddenly my torque wrench broke in half from all the tension I was applying. What the hell? But surprisingly, the broken bobby pin still worked, so I kept at it. Oh, I fell. Damn. Yes! Yes! I just did that. Yes! Look, look, look. I opened the door with this. <laughs> yes! Yeah! This whole video, I've been like praising myself. I need to chill out a little bit. But. It's, you know, it's really cool. I think I've more than earned the right to cross this off my list in my journal. It's a skill I've wanted to learn for a while, and I think, you know, I not only learned to pick a lock, but I went and opened the door lock with bobby pins, the absolute, like, crappiest tool ever. So I made fun of this thing earlier, but I feel like it could be actually pretty useful. It holds a good amount of tools, so this actually does fit perfectly in my wallet. Look at him go, <laughs> it looks ridiculous. I actually do think it can be quite useful in some kind of emergency situation. I don't have to pay a locksmith a hundred bucks or whatever they charge, I just got some tools. It's a lot easier to open padlocks than you might think, at least easier than I thought, and although learning in the beginning is a bit confusing, a little frustrating, uh, it gets really fun down the line. Yeah, I love you guys, I can't wait to see you guys next week with another video, except probably not next week because my schedule sucks and making these videos takes longer than I think every time. The point is, I can't wait to see you guys next time, and I hope you have an awesome day. Peace.